Yeah. And look, it's so cute. Hey guys, welcome to Fancy's Better Tomorrow. And in this video, um, I'm gonna call it real quick. And the reason why I wanna do that is because I really wanna keep track on my plants. One of the plants, I forgot uh, a, a simple detail of it and it, it bothers me. <laughs> so the plan is to set a timer for five minutes and record. An example of what I was talking about is this plant right here. I know I got it from a golden pathos, but I don't remember if it was already small. It it already like made babies and everything like that, but I don't I don't know why it's remaining this small compared to a golden pathos, which is where I got it from. So if you can see they're small compared to each other. Like these two came from the same plant, but why is this so small? And I don't know why. I don't know if I took it when it was this small because this has not grown and it has a spot on it. So I don't I don't know what's going on. I just know it's it's doing fine. I would just like to know why it remains small. This plant is doing great. We're not gonna talk about that one. What we will talk about though is the golden pathos that I changed pot, which I had to downsize again. I don't know if you remember when it was in this pot. So it kept dying. So these three were in the same pot and as you can tell it's so thin and I had already just lost one that was attached to this and when I saw this one going I'm like hmm something is wrong right now this is is being water propagated until i figure out what i want to do so i downsized and the root on this one is extremely long so it wraps around this pot and this one barely had a root system but the leaves were doing okay so not only were was it doing okay it started you know it started a little baby so if I time lapse this, you'll see it unravel. And that's part of the plan, but. So this plant, which is my rubber plant, I loved it. I remember when I bought it, it was nice and full and everything. And then it started, I remember one day I was walking to go water it and I kind of bumped like this amount of force and it just fell and it kept falling. So I lost about, maybe four to five of these but today I you know I watered it and I shined it up that's why it looks so shiny but it's if you look at the back it's spotting as if it's dying um and I know that because when when the other this one is fine okay so you see how the back of this is is, is nice there's no spots but these are changing color and it also these two also oh Oh my god <sighs> not enough time i'll do it again so we'll do 10 minutes stop wow five minutes go man is from experience i know that these two leaves are dying they feel different they look different i don't know what's going on and i don't want to lose anymore because i really really like this plant but i am just watching it now and the next thing uh, i don't know if you guys remembered this plant but it died it every time that i would walk over to this plant there was a leaf on the floor there was a this there was a that it just didn't do so well so in one of the videos where it came out and I was just like oh water I'm gonna just water propagate it so that's what I did um, I have this little water contraption thing propagation contraption thing and um, something amazing happened I have the leaves in here cuz I'm just waiting to see what happens but what the other thing I, ha I did w is propagate it and look there's roots so although the plant <laughs> bugged out on me, I was I was able to save these roots are longer. And once they get like a little bit longer, I'm gonna um it feels nice and healthy as before it didn't. But um yeah. I'm gonna wait till it gets a little longer and then I'm gonna plant it. This is 
the plant from today now um what i did with my snake plant i when i watch the videos on youtube what they normally do is they snip it from the the mother plant like they would snip it and then propagate but i didn't do that i just kind of took it out so we'll see i'm going to i'm only gonna i'm gonna cut i'm gonna cut one and the plan you'll see in the next video because i'm also gonna record that today um so i'll leave one in these things propagated things and i'll cut another one i don't know which one i want to cut because i like the look of this but i also want to transplant and not transplant but i also want to uh try another method which is cutting it kind of sad but i am gonna do that experiment um this one i'm just watching it's not dead yet and i don't want it to die so um i don't know how does it feel it feels very hydrated <laughs> um and i don't know if you guys remember what was in this this pot but it sadly went away it passed away that's okay because i'm gonna get another one because remember when it got frostbite that day and i'm trying to understand its cycle so this is not ready to go but as you can see it's done earlier today i saw one that was unra oh here it is that was unraveling this one this is a new one hey oh no anyways i'm done look this one just came off what is going on you know what i'm gonna do propagate it <laughs> just gonna stick it in here with the rest of the stuff and figure it out as I go well, that was 10 minutes and whew, that was good that was good that was really really good um I'm not worried even though this one went bad I'm not worried about it so that's the prayer plan thanks for watching my real quick five minute video but it really wasn't five minutes it was 10 minutes I'm gonna enough. say goodbye See, can you see my my bunny? Peace. <laughs>